Um, on behalf of Ewing and McCurrick Golf Construction, we really thank you for coming out today. Uh, I think you're going to like what you see. What I want to do is we're on a kind of a tight schedule. I want to go through a, a brief introduction. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank World Golf Village for your hospitality, both out here at Golf Maintenance and on the internal side from catering to the pro shop. It's a wonderful venue. Uh, I want to start the introductions off with uh, Steve LaFrance. Where are you, Steve? Steve is director of golf and oversees both Slammer and Squire and King and the Bear, the world-class facilities. Uh, Steve has been accommodating and letting us do one of his bunkers, and for that we thank you, Steve. On my left is Mr. Brad Stevens, the superintendent here at Slammer and Squire. Uh, he's the one that's instrumental in getting this particular bunker chosen for the installation. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate it. Um, we owe a debt of gratitude to McCurrick Golf Construction. Uh, they're the ones that are doing all the heavy lifting. We've got Mr. Alan McCurrick in the crowd today. Uh, Alan, thank you for loaning us your resources. We appreciate it. Um, we've got Brian Almany, president of McCurrick Golf in the back. Uh, originally, we were going to do this installation at our branch, and uh, we were going to put a tarp down and pour the concrete material on the tarp, and when Brian found out what we were doing, he called me and said, that's a dumb idea, Bob. So him and Jeff said, why don't we do a live bunker, a live demo, and be more applicable to real-world situations. So here we are today. Um, in the back is Mr. Chris Kleinsmith with McCurrick Golf. Uh, Chris is their lead superintendent. He was instrumental in getting the bunker prepared and poured out and ready for our, our product to go in. Um, we, we as a group, uh, and I, I see faces out here that have utilized McCurrick Golf, we as a group have a valuable asset in our backyard with having them here. Uh, and each situation where whether you have a crisis or a project, let's please run it by McCurrick Golf Construction and use them as a resource for the fan. Uh, last but not least, I want to introduce my boss, Mr. Steve Sakurai. Uh, he's head of Ewing Golf. He came in from Southern California to be here. And uh, we thank you if you get a chance, come stop by and introduce yourself to Steve. And uh, it'll help my job secure you a little bit, please. <laughs> um, Mr. Martin Sternberg is president of Capillary Concrete. He's the one that made all this happen. We thank you for the product. Uh, Mr. Ted Fisk is the product manager. Uh, where's Ted? Okay, Mr. Ted Fisk is going to kind of be the conductor of the symphony that goes on out here today. Uh, we want this to be an interactive group. So fire questions away. After we get done here, we're going to migrate up to the veranda for a nice lunch. And then you can ask more pointed questions of these two gentlemen. Uh, the, won't maybe apply during the installation. Uh, there's water in front of the pro shop if you get dehydrated. So, welcome to the water. Uh, thank you for being here, and I'm going to turn it over to Ted. Guys, thanks so much for coming. Um, just real quick, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to create a, we've already done that, we've created a homogenous mix. I contact ready mix suppliers wherever we're going to do a project. We go through a set of uh, criteria, they send back some information, and we create a custom mix design for each specific golf course based on local aggregates and environmental conditions. So what I did this morning was I went to the plant, we added our additives into it, we brought it here, it's basically ready to go. We're gonna install a two inch layer of capillary concrete, the product is completely homogenous. Every piece of aggregate is bonded together the same. So it doesn't matter if we're 18 inches thick or two inches thick, which is the standard application depth it's going to be the same all the way through regardless of humidity regardless of weather conditions always the same batch after batch after batch the installation should go pretty quick we'll go over and take a look at the mix coming out of the truck and uh, we'll back the we'll first back the Toro workman down to the end uh, we've actually put some we cut some rings to two inches and that helps the guys keep the depth so we know we're always installing at two inches if we're at three inches we're 50 percent over in material I'd love it because we sell more, but you guys won't like it because it costs you 50% more. We're going to work our way out. We rake it. We'll roll it. And uh, when we're done, we're going to cover it in plastic. Tomorrow, we'll pull the plastic off. It'll be ready for sand. Uh, we recommend putting the sand in and then watering it hard to help 
keep the moisture in the system, make the sand kind of set up faster, and that's it. Um, it's a pretty simple process. You'll see how it all goes. Thanks again for coming, and uh, as we go through this process, please feel free to ask questions. That's what we're here for, um, and we, we really appreciate you coming. So is, is we'll plastic, go over and... Is the plastic the cure the material? It helps it cure curing? both. Uh, you know, we've had a couple inches overnight, and then uh, obviously we'll cut a slit in the plastic and the water goes right through it. It does help it cure. We want to keep the moisture in the, pl in the uh, product as long as possible, and that's what the plastic helps us with. So if you guys want to, we'll go over and take a look. I know we're gonna, there's going to be a lot of loads, so not everybody has to go right now, but I want to make sure that, the, that we have a very consistent product, and then we'll start the installation right now. If you guys want to go down, we'll just, I'll meet you down here. 